friends welcome back in this video you will learn how to create this hammer in solidworks so i'll first give you couple of edits so that you can actually get idea what we are going to get so now let's proceed go to file menu click on new select new part now we'll be creating new planes and now one more right that is just about it and now i'll create a sketch on front plane and i'll create a center rectangle of 60 by 60 i mean and make sure that you are working in mmgs system you can do it by clicking here so now i'll exit it and i'll create another sketch on this plane i'll give it give it i think 50 mm or so and this plane it now we have three sketches and now i'll be i'll add material in between this between these sketches and we will use this one blocked works this one what actually it does is it adds material between the sketches so i have my three sketches so i'll just click on the sketches and the material gets added automatically and only the and the only precaution in using the locked works based command is you need to click uh, at at the similar positions in every sketch so here i'll be clicking on the upper right corner of every sketch you accidentally click anywhere else then you can drag these green handles and adjust your profile so it's looking nice so i'll just click okay now i'll be creating a new plane front plane and now i'll this time i'll be creating a new plane in this direction and this will be I'll leave, I will offset it to 170 mm yes I'll sketch on the new plane I'll create one more rectangle so it is changing into 100 mm oops sorry 5 mm again using the block to close this command click on it and click this face yes click this face and now see which which edge you got selected in your face and here in my case this edge got selected so i have to click on the similar edge in my sketch and it's this one click okay so now we have basic shape for of our of our hammer but i have to bend this bend this picture so that i can have a real look of the hammer so for this you have to go on the insert command insert menu and then go to features and then see this select this flex click on it and in the flex input select here click here and now i'll be shifting this trim plane trim plane to uh, here and the way to do is do that is click on the trim plane to reference geometry box and click this matrix so now the trim plane to act is uh, in its new position and uh, actually but uh, these trim planes are these are the planes in between which the material gets bent and this triad is showing the location of the center center of the band so 
I'll be shifting the triad to my plane tool like this so that my my material on this side doesn't get banged and only on this side so that so I'll increase the bend angle here like this Let's proceed further. Um, click here on this face and go to sketch. Click sketch. So now you can draw on this face of the feature and grab your circle. Click anywhere and we will be adding a relation so that this circle becomes centered with the outer one like this. Features select extrude flow space and increase its dimension. Maybe yeah, 50 mm looks fine. And now we will be creating the handle for the hammer. So go to your top plane and click sketch. And grab your circle tool. Features select extrude force space, flip the direction of the extrusion. You can also start from the here, uh, also you can start from here, but I suggest you to click on the form and select surface face plane and click on this face. So now my extrusion starts from here and not here. is left for the top plane we'll be creating a cut here grab your center line make sure it passes through the origin create a profile for the cut and make sure it's symmetric you can do it by setting the symmetric relation by giving there a symmetric relation between these points now you can adjust the profile of the cut by dragging these points according to your requirements. This looks looking fine. So now go to features, select extruded cut. So select direction to through all. So now we have created a nice cut here. So our number is actually complete. Thanks for watching.